Hello everybody. Today we're going to use Manifold Viewer to uh, learn SQL. And uh, we're going to do that by opening a file here. File, open. It's called Books. And uh, what this file is, this is a project file, Radian project file, that uh, ha contains the uh, all the tables and all the queries in the sample database that's used in Chris Fahili's wonderful book, SQL, uh, Visual Quick Start Guide. Uh, and uh, the point of uh, this project is that we can use a uh, viewer to uh, learn SQL. Now, um, as you may be aware, Manifold Viewer is the uh, free uh, read-only version of uh, Radiant Studio, and it has pretty much all of Radiant Studio's uh, capabilities, uh, including uh, a, a truly superb SQL system. Uh, when you're working with a book like uh, uh, Chris Fahili's book, A Visual Quick Start Guide, which which talks about SQL and how to how it teaches SQL, you really need um, some sort of console, uh, some sort of SQL capable of a database program um, that uh, you can try out all the various queries. And ideally, you'd like to do that in a way which doesn't require you to keyboard in all the examples that are in the book. So what we've done here is we've uh, loaded the uh, MDB file from uh, Chris's book, and uh, we have uh, opened up all these listings, as you can see, in, in, the, in the project file. So all these are all the different queries that 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 occur in order in that book. If you're familiar with the, if you're familiar with the book, let's go back to the tables section. Uh, here's the author's table that's in the book. Here's the titles table that's in the book. And uh, we've put all the listings since there, there's hundreds of them here in a in a subfolder called uh, listings. Uh, we click one of them open, and here's the very first listing, which uh, select the author first name and last name from authors double click on the listing to open it and then click the run button here to run it that'll run the uh, query and y as you can see that's exactly the result that we would expect from reading the book let's actually use the query builder here to uh, do some work with these we can and the way the query builder works is that there's a pane up here where the qu where the query is written there's a pane here in the lower left that uh, provides a list of all the different functions that uh, SQL that uh, Radian knows in terms of SQL and there's there's absolutely hundreds of them, statements, clauses, and stuff. And here on the right, we can drag and drop source material for the query builder to use. So for example, we've taken the author's table, and we've dragged and dropped it into this pane here. Uh, now, when you're working with uh, Chris's book, you have to be aware that uh, he presents uh, SQL in a generic manner. It doesn't really pay to create a book that can work with only one SQL. And there's, and there's slight differences between the SQLs as implemented in things like uh, Oracle Database or SQL Server, or DB2, PostgreSQL and similar SQL systems. Uh, but they're all fairly similar, so pretty much the same queries will work in all of them. And uh, pretty much all these queries out of the hundreds of them uh, from Chris's book will work in uh, Radian Unmodified. So for example, this one, the very first one will work. Uh, here's another one, which uh, shows how to use the order by clause. That works too. We've ordered by the uh, last name. And uh, if we like, we can edit these uh, listings. Let's go back here to the query builder. So, for example, he here we can add, uh, uh, let's say, uh, phone, P H O N E. And uh, now we're going to get a results table that has the first name, the last name, and the, f and the telephone number. Uh, this shows one of the uh, differences between uh, the SQL that's uh, written in uh, Chris's book and uh, what we see here in, our, in Radiant SQL. Uh, Radiant SQL is perfectly happy to. Uh, use just the name of a field, for example, phone, P-H-O-N-E, uh, without, without square brackets around it if the field is uh, unambiguous. So, if, But if you enter this, for example, double-click on city to enter that, you can see that Radian by default enters uh, fields uh, in square brackets. Why is that? Because if, if the uh, field name were ambiguous, that is, if it had um, a space character in it, for example, uh, instead of phone, it had phone number or something like that as the name of the field, then it makes sense to enclose that field name within square brackets so that it's completely unambiguous. But like I say, if it's unambiguous, uh, then you, you don't need to use the square brackets. You could do it either way, your choice. Uh, the way the query builder works is uh, if we double click on a field here in the lower right, one of these items, for example, state, uh, it'll immediately add it there. Or if we wanted to change uh, a field here like phone to something like address. We could highlight that, double click, and, and that's what it gets. So let's run that query and see what happens. Here you go. Uh, let's add a where clause to that. 
let's add uh, where w h e r e and let's let's do it where state is equal to c a and here's another example of uh, how radian works where we use single quotes to set off text literals so if we're looking for literally where the value of this state field is literally the value of the letter ca that text string we'd set that off with the with two quotes so run that and what do we get we get uh, the results table that shows uh, the author's first name last name address the city and the state from the author's table where uh, the state is equal to california okay that's wonderful let's take a look at another example here and i believe it's this one here yeah that, that, that's it where there's some slight differences between how uh, the queries and the generic queries in the book are written in what, what we do by default in rating sql uh, this shows how aliases work where if we run this query and it runs unmodified we select the author's first name as first name the field au underscore l name as last name and so on and what this does using an alias is if we don't want a cryptic uh, field name like this but instead we prefer something more englishy like first name as a column header we can use that as an alias <clears throat> however within with radian we don't need to use double quotes to set that off within the field name we can just uh, eliminate those and let's rerun the script and so you can see now we get the desired effect first name without double quotes around it we don't need to use those double quotes well uh, there you go that just shows an example of how we can uh, open this uh, project uh, I encourage you to uh, buy a copy of Chris's book. Uh, we don't make any money selling the book. We're just uh, uh, very fond of it because it uh, teaches uh, people how to use SQL. And anything that helps people learn SQL is good for us in terms of selling products that uh, utilize SQL. Um, and uh, then go ahead and download Viewer. It's an absolutely free product with uh, no catches whatsoever, no restrictions. And uh, download the free uh, books.map uh, project file. And you'll have uh, an ensemble of uh, software and uh, data with, which uh, has all the uh, all the examples that are in Chris's wonderful book without any need to keyboard in any of these uh, examples uh, yourself. It'll just uh, all in there for you automatically. And you can use a uh, viewer to learn how to use SQL. Uh, you can go on to uh, use viewer to learn more sophisticated things that you find in Chris's book. For example, how to, how to do spatial SQL. That is uh, using uh, SQL functions that uh, have spatial characteristics to uh, uh, do slicing and dicing of spatial data and that sort of thing. But all that's for the future, though. For the time being, just have fun learning SQL, read the book, it's a good one, and enjoy using Viewer for free. So thanks a lot for listening, and goodbye from Radian Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.